Okay, today I have a Miwa 3800, also known as the Anchor or Anchor Slot 3800. Um, we have a uh, key that has four dimples on the one side and 10 magnets on the other. The dimples have a single serration on the driver pin, uh, which does come into play a little. And the eight magnets activate four sliders. I have two on the right and two on the left. These magnets can be polarized in the axial direction or the diametric, uh, or they can be diametrically polarized. So you can see these dots here show that they're either facing north or south, I don't know which, into or out of the key. Whereas this one down here you can see is diametric in that it faces left and right, north and south, right? So you have to manipulate your magnet to move those sliders around. Um, the sliders are on springs, so they reset any time the, the lock is in the locked position. So it's not like the other ones where you need to run a magnet over them um, to reset them. But let's see, I'll turn on the, the mic. You can hear them moving around on the right side there. You can hear them moving around on the left side there. So what most people do is they pick all their dimples first and then um, they just get to picking the magnets. Uh, mine, I, I often feel like I have to go back and forth, which kind of sucks, a little bit extra work, but I guess, you know, sometimes you have tighter tolerances on your locks. Click out of one. These are the dimples. Uh, binding on four. Four is lifting. Click out of four, big click. Let's go back to the front. One is up there. Two feels set already. Three feels set. Sometimes I have to set those, but sometimes just passing back to get to number four seems to get those set. I'm going to check number one again to see if, uh, if we're stuck on a serration. I don't know. Oh, I think. I'm going to check to see if any of the magnets are binding or the sliders are binding at this point. Okay, two is either, that sound is either set or um, not binding. I'm thinking that's not binding. It's a pretty big movement. Four is a small movement you hear there. So I'm going to check the, uh, the other side. I'll check the left side. I got a feeling though that the, um, that the uh, dimples are not fully set. You're gonna reach around in weird ways for the camera. Obviously, if this was in the lock, you wouldn't have access like this. All right, the left side sounds like we're binding. So I let off a bit. And I hear pin, pin three moving. I'm gonna let off tension a little bit more to try to get one to move, but I think that it, it sounded like a dimple dropped. Okay, one is moving now. And with tension, you still hear it moving. That means it's probably set. Three is still moving. So I think that I want to check the um, status of those dimples because it sounded like one fell. But first, I'm going to just listen to the right side to see if that caused the right side to bind. No, they're still both moving. So I'm going to go ahead and check those uh, dimples. It really did sound like one fell. Uh, one feels like it's not as high as it should be. Two feels like it fell to the ground. Come on, two. Or oh, maybe I'm just too high up with my pick. Three also feels like it fell to the ground. What is going on? Okay, big click out of three. Four f feels like it f fell down. Am I off on my count? Let's see. One, two. Three, four. Okay, four does not feel like it fell down after all. Let's check number one again. All right, one seems set. I don't know if maybe it's in a serration or not, but let's check the um, magnets again. I don't want to play too much ping pong today. Okay, two and four both make noise on the. So I'm going to go and see if I'm going to take out the heftier unmodified pick from Dongxi and see if I can bully number one if it's in a serration or not. Okay, so I did get a little click out of one there. 
So it must have, it might have been an eceration. Let's go back to listening on the right side. I didn't feel core turn, but you know it could have been just so tiny. Okay, so right side's still not binding. That mean it could mean that the left side is binding. Now we previously went over pin one on the left side. So we might hear some noise from one. And we do. And we hear from three. So I have the feeling that nothing's binding and we're still stuck on our dimples somehow. And I don't know, other people seem to have no problem with the dimples. I have minimal problem with these sliders. Um, so I had that click from, uh, that extra click from one from serration. Let's check some other guys. Two feels set. Is that four? Wait, hold on. Two feels set. Three feels set. Four. Does four have something more to give me? Oh, it, it sounded like it went up and then it uh, might have got overset actually. But we can check. Let's see if these magnets are binding it. Oh, okay. Sounds like we're binding on the right side. So I pro four was probably stuck on the serration and now it's free. So let's go ahead and let off tension a little. I might have to float pick a little if I can't. I'll rotate a little bit with the, the, the magnetic pick. See if I can't. Right there, I got number, number two, sounds set. Number four sounds binding. I'll use the magnet to rotate a little bit. Four sounds set, lost two. So that means that I'm probably gonna have to get a little bit finer um, tension control. Oh, this is not good. I have a feeling that a tension bar is gonna fly out during this pick because I don't have the right direction one. Usually I have one that, well, you can't see it right now, but it usually bends the other way. All right, so I need tension control to do number two. All right, I did not do control number four. Number two. Come on, it's so hard to get both of them. Number four, and I got more rotation, and both of them sound set on the right side. Don't take away the wrong tension wrench, please. Make sure I'm rotating the right direction. So I got tension acrobatics. All right. How am I going to keep this on? All right. Let's listen to this left side. Okay, one sounds binding, three sounds binding. Let's see if I can get it just by letting off tension a little. one. One sounds set. Do I have to float or can I just back off a bit? Alright, there's three. Got it. Both, both on the left sound good, but um, I might be stuck in a serration or that those things are kind of like false gates on the right side maybe. So let's check the right side again. I don't hear two, I don't hear four, All right? I don't hear either. So let's go ahead and set up the float again. This is a risky, uh, risky setup here. I'm on number four right now. Okay, two sounds set. Four. Four doesn't. Four, I can hear it move, but then when I put the tension back on, it doesn't sound set. And we got an open. So I got four, and then we got the open. 
So let's go ahead and uh, turn the autofocus on and zoom out. Move these tools aside. Bring down the gutting tools. We'll turn off the uh, the mic for the lock. And we'll aim the camera down. So I always change that one first for some reason. Aim the camera down. And we'll take this out of here. Um, so there's that. Painting tray. Let's see if we can zoom in a little. And we'll move the painting tray over here. Get some light. How's that? All right. Gutting this thing. Uh, I don't have a. Didn't bring a screwdriver, did I? Um, let's see. Take. There's this ring here. Um, I'm guessing this is to prevent a bypass because um, this ring holds in a little plate on the back here so I think that's I think that's to protect from bypass then I got this it, it used to be really tight but it's gotten loose from the, when I removed it uh, and I guess now I'm gonna tighten it once I got this on video so take off the c-clip Come on, it was mostly off. I gotta fit this all into. Oh, all right, I'll find that later. It went shooting off somewhere, and then this ring that that C clip held down. And now, the gutting process. Oh, I should lock it back up. It's open. Um, I don't need to. No, I can just gut it like this. Push it out with a follower. Okay. So the first thing is that it has this uh, anti-drill ring, I guess, that's holding in an anti-drill pin, so I'll dump that out. There's that. Um, and then what I'll do is I will start pulling out the magnetic sliders. So there's one right there. Let me get you guys in a bit more. The, f the only thing is the focus. So I'll go ahead and these each have a little spring behind them. Okay, maybe what I'll do is I'll put it back on manual focus and we'll go. How about that? All right, I'll pull out this first slider. Of course, I'm trying to use different tweezers this, this time. Oh my gosh. Should have brought the other tweezers down. All right. So there's the, the first slider, we'll look at that, and then there's a little spring behind it, right there. Oh. And I'll dump the spring over here. Um, I'll grab slider three from the side as well. I really hope it's in focus, I only have a small screen so can't really tell. Dump that spring out. Okay, now I'll go to the other side. Slider four, right here. Dump that little spring out. Oh, and slider two also fell out when I went to dump that spring. Okay, I do need the other the other tweezers because these springs that are tiny and fragile. And I need a pokey one to get in there. Alright. So that's those. I'll dump out the um the key pins. Four, three. Two, one, and then this is like I guess an anti-drill ring that goes around it. The core here has nothing special, no counter milling or anything like that. Um, it's got these little, it's got these little ledges that the the springs go in. Um, and if I have time left, I'll show you guys uh, how that works with the key. Up in the Bible, we just have. Are serrated pins and so the first one right here just to show the serration is upward on that uh, hopefully you can see that we'll turn the autofocus on Where are you there we go 
and oh my gosh there's that serrated pin a little serration on the top so that's pin one just a standard spring two and I put them out facing up as I pull them out facing up and my standard springs all right so here are the pins and then I'll show how those sliders work all right so there are the pins move that out the way so it doesn't uh, steal the focus and these are the sliders the sliders have a magnet on them the magnets right here on this oh no sorry right here on this slider that little square block there's the magnet and this pokes out into the into the um, side of the shell and this one has a little tiny serration there on the end so you can drop down on this side or this side has a kind of like a false gate almost you see it steps down on that end and there's a serration there so you can get caught on that if this only gets slightly retracted and they, they point they poke into these little square holes in the shell right so these poke in there like that and the magnet you have to pull it in against the spring like that so all the spring is is and I'll demonstrate I guess uh, pin one here or slider one you take a spring and drop it in the front there and you just drop this slider in there okay so that first slider is in there this thing man okay and when you stick the key in or when you stick the pick in let's say hopefully we can see that drop come on that drops in and out so I gotta hold it as far as the shell normally would but you can see well I'm trying to push it out because there we go get sucked in by that and when you have the key in oh, the key will hold that in now the reason it's popping out further is because normally the shell would be there to hold it only that far and then the the, the key would just pull it the rest of the way in see now the thing is if you pull it in too far I don't know if the not all of them will pull through but if you pull it in too far uh, maybe not that one it will actually pull it out the other side and block out the other side. I think like two and three might do that or something, but not every single one of them can. I don't think they can all get out the other. Oh, oh yeah, they can. Look, so it pops out the other side if you pull it too far. Um, anyways, that is the Miwa 3800. Um, that's the last uh, magnetic lock that I own. Um, if uh, if you guys know of other ones, it'd be cool to check out. I've done the Eva MCS, also all oh, mine's the Zeiss Icon M. I've done the Miwa EC and now the Miwa or Anchor or Anchor Slot 3800. Anyways, that's it. Thanks.